In this lecture, I intend to prove that the secret to the atomic nucleus is an unrecognized magnetic current. Magnetic currents, or the flow of free magnetic charges, do not exist in our laboratories, but they were theoretically described over a hundred years ago by Pierre Curie. Curie is best known as the husband of the more famous Marie Curie. However, he was an accomplished scientist in his own right in the fields of electronics and magnetism. As the discoverer of piezoelectricity, he had designed a piezoelectrical device which could identify the radioactive emissions characteristics by which Marie's radium had been isolated and discovered. In 1894, Curie wrote an article which proposed that a free magnetic current could exist if something he called a monopolar magnet existed. A monopolar magnet is one which possesses only one pole, not both. Since the time of Curie's proposal, no monopolar magnet has been found. Without such a magnet, Curie's theory of free magnetism and a magnetic current could not be tested. Recently, however, the quantum dimensional model of the neutron may have become a candidate for Curie's mysterious monopolar magnet. Curie's concept of a free magnetic current conducted across a circuit without providing motivational force until it reaches the end of the circuit may explain why the positive charges of the nuclear protons do not cause the nucleus to fly apart. Modern physics calls the force which prevents nuclear magnetic repulsion collapse to be the strong force. A magnetic current circuit composed of chains of alternating protons and neutrons may be the source of this strong force. It is mathematically certain that neutron-proton chains conduct a Curie magnetic current using energy supplied by a quantum constructed neutron. I will try to simplify this to make it understandable. However, I despair that I can make it simple enough. In the last five years, two major research discoveries and a mathematical breakthrough have proven incomprehensible to what I believe may be the most mentally incompetent generation in human history, one which prefers pretty fables to prosaic reality. My measurement of negative radiation and its derivation of Planck's constant was only the second time in scientific history that the constant has been derived from a new data set. Nowhere could I get the data reported in the scientific press. Its presentation was restricted through this website and in my book. In five years it has been examined, analyzed by exactly zero people. My discovery that nuclear energy could be controlled by a, an electrical capacitance field was documented in an hour and 20 minute vid, uh, video. That video has been viewed in its entirety by exactly zero people.